coach. That hurts. Not as much as it will the next time. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't want you bending down. You're at the age when arterial sclerosis might set in. I'm not gonna get something I never even heard of. <laughs> is that true? If it is, you're in luck. Shweta. Just saying, there might be an upside to Subu's vocabulary skills. What does vocabulary mean again? <laughs> if I'm good at something, I'd like to know what it is. It means the volume of words that you know. Right. And what does volume mean? <laughs> Listen, guys, you know what today is, right? Tuesday. First of all, it's Friday. <laughs> Second of all, today is our anniversary. Happy anniversary, Dad. Congrats, Pops. Thanks. You don't look too happy. I had a date on Thursday. <laughs> look, I'm having Mom's gift delivered here, so if it comes before I get back, make sure she's here to receive it. What are you getting her? A book. A, a book? book. <laughs> What's wrong with a book? She can't wear it, smell it, or eat it. In other words, don't count on getting lucky tonight. Uh, <laughs> Just saying. Well, none of her diets ever seem to work. And Mr. Gupta says he knows a book that'll help her lose weight. So, um, <clears throat> Tata, how was your um, uh, job search going? I had my first job interview yesterday. And? And it went really well. As in you got the job? As in, I didn't. <laughs> what planet are we on today? Well, I didn't really like the job, but they were such nice people, I couldn't bear hurting them by turning it down. As it ends up, I didn't have to. So, it went well. <laughs> and that's a good thing. Never take the first choice for anything. If I had taken my parents' first choice for marriage, I would have never met your grandfather. Was he your parents' second choice? He was their 10th choice. How did you know he was the right one? There were no more left. <laughs>
Mickey, she's going to hate it. And why are you getting it? Because sex is a lot better when she is angry. <laughs> <laughs> This is a great place, Dad. Did you find something you like? I found two things I like. What were the titles? Sita's phone number and Lakshmi's email. <laughs> Do me a favor. Go to the counter and tell the clerk to put a happy anniversary card with Lata's gift. I'll wait here for Gupta. Sure thing. Hi. Uh, yes? My dad wants a happy anniversary card with Lata's gift. Oh, no problem. Kama Sutra. I heard about this book. Can I see it for a second? <laughs> sure. Wow! <laughs> Didn't know that was possible! <laughs> Look at the size of that thing! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> I better start wrapping it now, sir. <sighs> my dad's got balls giving this to my mother. Uh, wasn't this for his friend? Mr. Gupta? Uh, Are you crazy? You saw him. He probably has problems getting his pants off. <laughs> Trust me, that's for my dad. He's the only one I know who's hornier than me. <laughs> so this is for Lata. Are you sure? I couldn't be surer. <laughs> oh, and can you make it a super fast delivery? <laughs> he said no problem. Thanks. That's some kind of gift you got for mom. You liked it? You kidding? I couldn't put it down. <laughs> Excuse me for asking, but don't you think it's a little too much for her? <laughs> I'll be happy if she can do a few of them, if you know what I mean. I think I do. <laughs> now, this is going to be a little difficult for Mom, so I need you to encourage her, okay? Really? <laughs> and it wouldn't be such a bad idea for you to start reading it. It might inspire you to do some of it yourself. Consider me inspired. <laughs> Good. It's about time you took an interest in Indian culture. If that's culture... <laughs> Namaste! <laughs> I didn't know you were into stuff like that. I used to practice daily till you guys were born. You practice with mom? Mom wasn't interested. So you did it with someone else? No, by myself. Yourself? <laughs> did mom ever find out? I would think so. She was usually in the room watching. And that didn't bother you? It actually turns me on when she's watching. <laughs> you know. Look what I can do. <laughs> you guys are cooler than I thought. It's nice to see you so interested. Oh, man, I can't wait to start. <laughs> Should I do it by myself at first? In the beginning, it's better to do it in a group. Really? <laughs> and with an instructor, if you want to get the full benefits. And I do want the full benefits. <laughs> Where do I find such a group? They're all over the place. They are? This is my kind of town. Tell you what, I'll find one and pay for it if you promise to be regular. I will be so regular. I've never seen you so excited about a book. Actually, I've never seen you with a book. Well, now it's a whole new ball game. <laughs> You look really nice, Tara. Thanks, Ravi. So do you. Thanks, Tara. So do you. So, do you think your mother will agree? I hope so. You know, I've never raised puppies before. Don't worry. I will teach you everything. Everything? Everything. Mom! Can you come here for a minute? <laughs> Hello, Tara. My, my, what do we have here? Aren't they cute, Mom? Oh. They look just like you when you were a baby. <laughs> Mommy loves you. Now, 
get them out before they poop all over the place. <laughs> Tara needs to find home for these puppies. Can't we take them? Are you out of your mind? It's bad enough with you and your father here. Hi, Tara. Nice to see you. Hi, Mr. Gupta. Dad! Tara needs to find home for these puppies. Can't we take them? She said she would help me raise them. Mahesh, tell him we can't have them. Dad, please. Mahesh. Will you excuse us for a minute? <laughs> this is the chance we have been waiting for. To clean up poop all day? <laughs> no, to get Ravi married. To Tara? We'd be lucky to get a girl like that to marry him. We would be lucky to get a donkey to marry him. <laughs> what makes you think a nice girl like that would ever fall for him? Haven't you heard of that expression? The way to a young girl's heart is through her puppy. <laughs> now I remember why I married you. Why? Because my parents made me. <laughs> We will keep the puppies under one condition, Tara. What's that? You have to come here daily and teach Ravi how to care for them. And clean up the poop. <laughs> Thank you so much. And don't worry, I'll be here every day until Ravi learns everything. And I am a slow learner. <laughs> Who is that clown? That's Raj. He's the most popular guy at school. <laughs> he looks like a dipshit to me. <laughs> What's he doing? He's a rapper. They call him Snoop Cat. Wow, a rapping dipshit. <laughs> I think he's staring at us. So is his friend. Maybe they like us. We'll soon find out. What do you mean? He's coming here. Raj is coming here? Oh my god! He's coming here! Snoop Cat! <laughs> How's my hair? Are my earrings even? <gasps> my lips! <laughs> Where's my lipstick? Where's my bloody lipstick? <laughs> Nina! Nina! What? They're here. <laughs> Your homeboy. Snoop Cat's getting a what? Oh, 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 oh. Yo, we pimping out in school. It's like Hogwarts, but less cool. We come to the canteen, see two losers on stools. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a couple of bitches at the Harry Potter table looking like real life witches. Recognize Snoop Cat. Put some lotion on it. Uh -huh. So witches, where do you leave your uh, broomsticks? We tried parking them up your ass, but your head got in the way. <laughs> a funny witch. What's that you're drinking there? Is that a witch's brew made out of frog's brains? No, we used your brains. They were a little rotten, but they were on sale. <laughs> you're really funny. That's probably the only way you can get a guy to look at you. I'd watch it if I were you. Or watch you put a spell on me. I'm sorry, spells don't work on morons. <laughs> but I could put a spell on yourself. Oh yeah? How would you do that? I send you a spell message. Ooh, I see what's going on. You want Snoop Cat's number? But Snoop Cat doesn't give his number to weirdos like you. 9880575183. Wait, how'd you get my number? From the girls' bathroom. <laughs> My number made it to the girls' bathroom? It sure did, right over the toilet bowl. The toilet bowl! <laughs> it said, call this number to speak to a real piece of shit. <laughs> Yo, a bitch? You dissing Snoop Cat? You mean Poop Cat? <laughs> Yo, fart face. I sent the spell message. Read it and weep. <laughs> I am not going away. What does that even mean? Try closing it and you'll find out. Oh, she's right. I can't close it. Oh my god. But I can always switch it off. And it'll still be there when you turn it on. <laughs> and one more thing. 
you won't be able to receive any calls. But anyone who calls you will get a text message that says, lose my number, asshole. <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Shit, dude. She said I, I, I can't make any calls this one. What am I gonna do? No problem, bro. Use mine. Ha. Not so fast, homeboy. The spell goes out to all his contacts. <laughs> this is a stolen phone. This is a stolen phone. Oh yeah, and if I were you, I'd stay away from any police stations. This is a stolen Yo. phone. This Get is my back, a bro. stolen Get my back. phone. Get my back. Yo, I'm coming back for you. I may be a cat, I ain't no pussy. I'm coming back. Just a cat coming for you, bitch. Courier. There's my little baby. <laughs> Mom, it's for you. What's that? It's Dad's anniversary gift. He remembered. Too bad I didn't. <laughs> you know what it is, don't you? I went with him to pick it out. Judging from your smile, it's probably a jewelry box, and I'm guessing diamond necklace? Guess again. Gold necklace? <laughs> Just open it. I think I'll wait a bit. Come on, Mom! I've been waiting all day. <laughs> a book? Kama Sutra? <laughs> this is what your father got me? He said it would help you lose weight. <laughs> he what? Mom, you gotta be open-minded. Start reading it. And if you don't like it, just give it to me. Do you have any idea what's in here? I did browse a few pages. You saw this? Dad wants me to learn some of the poses. <laughs> he what? He's even gonna pay for an instructor. You're gonna have private Kama Sutra lessons? No, it'll be in a group. <laughs> a group? Dad said it's better to do it with a group at first. <laughs> I never heard such a thing. Either did I, but Dad said they're all over the place. He's even gonna find me one. You're not going to practice Kama Sutra with a bunch of perverts. <laughs> what if I do it by myself? Yourself? You know, like Dad used to do. <laughs> Weren't you watching him? <laughs> Subo, look at me. Oh, you want drugs? No, I'm just trying to get into Indian culture. I promise I'll be regular. <laughs> and when it's time for their sleep, you hold them like this and gently rock them back and forth until their eyes start to close. What if they don't close? Then you sing to them like this. Rock a bye, baby, on the treetop. When the climate change wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the Republicans cut the trees down, the cradle will fall. But mommy will catch you, cradle and all. Mwah. That was really nice, Tara. It made me feel like I want to be the puppy. Thanks, Ravi. Ravi, can I see you for a minute? Excuse us, Tara. He will be right back. <laughs> What are you doing? You told me to be romantic. Made me feel like I want to be a puppy. <laughs> you have to be smooth and charming. Compliment her hair. Tell her she has a nice smile. You do want her, don't you? Yeah. Then stop screwing it up. <laughs> Remember what happened to your last girlfriend? I never had a girlfriend. That's the one I'm talking about. <laughs> Go in and act like a man. Hmm. <laughs> Ravi, just one more thing. Sorry again, Tara. <laughs> What's that, Dad? Leave the door open <laughs> and sit closer to her. It's more romantic. Um. 
<laughs> Mommy has to go now, but Daddy's going to take very good care of you. Of course Mommy still loves you. <laughs> I'm not abandoning you. <laughs> He's beginning to panic. Tara! <laughs> this is one thing I want to tell you. What's that, Ravi? My pens are wet. <laughs> what? I mean, your smile is wet. I mean, you made my pens wet? That's great, Ravi. Oh, it is. It means he likes you. <laughs> that makes me feel so much better. Me too. You really have nice hands, Tara. I mean, you really have a nice hair. I mean, you really have a nice smile too. I'm not smiling. You were before. <laughs> I think it's still wet. <laughs> Happy anniversary to you, too. You call this an anniversary gift? I thought it was time for a change. You know, something other than gold. Something you can actually learn from. Like a book. Well, you could have made it a book on gold. <laughs> or diamonds. Or gold. Something <laughs> useful. It's time you tried something new and challenging. Something that could loosen you up a little. No offense, honey, but you're falling into a rut. I am falling into a rut? You're not exactly Mr. Lucy Goosey yourself. <laughs> no offense, honey. You're right. And that's why I'm dying to get back into this. Maybe I can help you. So you'll give it a shot? I am talking about the dying. <laughs> Vicky, if I'm not satisfying you, we should talk about it. You don't have to give me a disgusting book like this. Disgusting? It has real pictures. That makes it easier to do. Guess what? I don't know what to do. <laughs> I know it's a little hard at first, but the more you practice, the easier it becomes. I'll <laughs> get you an instructor. And I suppose you would want me to do it in a group? It's more fun that way. <laughs> I'd even come with you. Sweet. Why are you freaking out like this? Why am I freaking out? How about the instructor you're getting for my son? I think it'll be good for him. In a group. That's how I learned. He is only 19. Some people start when they're seven. That's right. Seven. <laughs> Trust me, later on he'll be thankful he can get in all those positions. <laughs> I am already thankful. <laughs> Out of here. Look, your mother's gonna love to see you do this. Are you nuts? Am I nuts? <laughs> Where's your mother? She's in the kitchen. Amma, would you please come here for a minute? Now we'll see who's nuts. <laughs> Amma, would you please tell your daughter that you would love her? <laughs> Next time it's going to be hot. She saw the book. <laughs> Mickey, Mickey, don't give her the... <laughs> Switched, yeah? Switched? You mean she got... That explains the food on my <laughs> How could this happen? I called up the bookstore and the clerk said Subu told him Kamsutra was your gift. Subu, get your ass in here. You were supposed to get a book on yoga. Yoga? <laughs> Did you tell the clerk this was my gift? Well, I didn't think he could do any of that shit. <laughs> This was his gift? <laughs> you nincompoo! Did I ever give anything like this to mom? And did you actually believe I would send you for Kama Sutra lesson? In a group? <laughs> that did sound a little too good to be true. So what do you have to say about this, Amma? Looks like I overcooked the eggplant. <laughs> I am a Punjabi. I like overcooked eggplant. <laughs> Do you have any idea what you just put me through? <laughs> Aren't you even a little sorry? 
Of course I am. I was really looking forward to it. <laughs> I'm going to take this. Mickey, I'm afraid I won't be reading this anymore. What do you mean? My wife liked the yoga book so much, she decided to become a celibate. <laughs> oh, I can't take it. I'll take it. <laughs> if you feel like your life has become a routine, maybe it's time for a change in the scene. Don't you want to take a rickshaw ride? See what it's like on the other side. Sir, one and all, sir. Breakfast in Bangalore. Breakfast in Bangalore.